And one of the things we've been talking about behind the scenes, it's some of the danger zones involving social media. And one question that was posed recently, can social media lead to sex trafficking? Innocent women, many of them are now saying they've been lured into this via the internet. Very soon we're gonna meet a young woman that said this happened to her. We're gonna talk to her later in the show. But my next guest said social media helped her career as an adult film actress. She's a former Disney star, and she says living her authentic life started with a post on social media. I was compelled by the story to speak with Maitland Ward, and she is here with us now. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> We're starting out this new year talking about detoxing and right. taking things out of our lives. And we had a specialist on who said, you know, one of the things you should de detox is some of the social media presence. And your story started with a post on social media and you started being flooded with attention and I, likes. Yeah, it, um, it was more of a slow progressive journey. I was, uh, I posted stuff that I was authentic, that was authentic to me and that I loved and um, I'm sort of an exhibitionist and <laughs> I like to post sexy pictures and stuff and people really responded to it. And of course, yes, I'm a former Disney star so I was often typecast as being this kind of sweetsy comedy girl which is fine and I love that but I'm also this other person who likes to, you know, explore her sexuality and and erotic writing and and you know acting and stuff. So it allowed me to go from a place of sweetsy kind of girl next door to the person I am today and authentically take that journey along. So the you way. found social media as this outlet to break free of yes. what you saw as this Disney image, which is, yes. by the way, not a bad image. It's not to a have. bad image, but it was a younger image of me who I, which is fine, and I love that, and I love that I have that history with Disney and the wonderful show like Boy Meets World. And I, but I've grown and I've evolved and I just wanna do all sorts of different things and I'm really, it's allowed me to do that. Right, so, cause one of the things that, you know, and I'm sure everybody has logged on at some point and you suddenly start to see bikini pictures <laughs> and then you see somebody sexing it up and I can't lie, I've probably put out a little thigh here and there <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> and I learned from one of my nieces, it was called Thirst Trap. Oh, that you put I didn't these, even yeah, it's a term, it's called <laughs> thirst trap, where you put a picture out, you know, that is sexy, anticipating the response and the likes there. Was that, was there a high associated with posting these photos for I you? I didn't necessarily anticipate the likes. Oh, look, there's my Red Riding Hood. <laughs> I'm also a cosplay, big cosplay fan, so okay. I dress up in all sorts of cosplay stuff. I just love that. Um, so I wasn't. What is cosplay? You oh, have like a... um, comic book characters oh, okay. and, and like the comic cons and stuff. Okay. I dress up for that. And, and so that's what you were channeling. Yeah, there. I mean, that was Halloweenish, but <laughs> but you started going into this world and you started getting a lot of likes and yeah, attention. Yeah, but it honestly came from an authentic place for me. Like this is stuff that I love to do and I love to dress up and I love to explore and all this stuff. So that the fact that people supported me in this and I have such amazing fans that are really the reason. In mainstream Hollywood, they would not allow me to do the stuff that I'm doing today. I mean, I was told before that women over 30 can't play sexy Where you were, I know you've turned this into something you've monetized and you have now branched off into adult entertainment, things that you are comfortable with, but were you ever worried about you know, the creepy people out there, the dangers that come oh, with this. Yeah, but I think there's a lot, especially in adult entertainment, there's a lot of misconceptions of what it is now. I mean, of course there's a lower element that's going to be trap yeah. bad stuff, just like in mainstream. Sure. But the people that I have worked with, first of all, I have signed with a company, uh, Deeper.com, who the director and writer who is a brilliant filmmaker is a woman. And it's interesting for me to look at like the Oscar nominations today. No woman director Oscar nominations, but this is an award-winning, in, in the adult industry, she's an award-winning director. I love the connection you just made for It was, Oscars it's serious. That. But there I, are so many women. I guess for me, you know, it's, I'm trying to explore and understand the high and the, the emotional, I guess, validation that we're seeing on social media, the racier the picture, the more validation. And is that healthy? I think, for me, I'm more mature and I, I know how to deal with that stuff more. I think for a younger child, that's very dangerous. 